episode six was really fun because we didn't even know there was going to be an episode six. We shot some footage of Lake Cambrian at Mercury Lounge. But, but then it kind of it kind of became a little bit bigger than that because as we were shooting, we were like, well, why don't we get her to walk in and then we'll we'll follow her through the crowd and we did a couple of other angles and it just looked really cool. So the whole film crew came in and Lisa was in the audience and her character is supposed to be a rival of our band. So she was watching the show and we had a real audience there and she made faces. Uh, later on, the bass player, Nunzio, these two bitches were just scowling at us and then like you know my mom was there and she didn't know why they were so angry and she was getting angry at them and then our bass player's mom at the time was like this bitch was the front row like why did you stay at the show if you don't like the show and then they like left in the middle of the song and she was like gonna fight them and stuff and like his sister was there and she was all pissed like it was like a weird like we didn't even realize that this whole like thing was about to go down <laughs> And they, and they didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> I was like, we had to explain yeah. to her later that it wasn't, uh, it wasn't real. A lot of people came to us and said, did you see that girl in the front row? Like, she hated you guys. So it's a testament to Lisa's acting that she looked like she hated our music. And that turned out to be such good footage that I was like, we need to do something. Like, we need to, we need to make a show out of this. And then we brought in Lake Cambrian's music video, and Levi thought of this great idea of sort of melding it, so it's almost like the monkeys or uh, Scooby-Doo, where they're, the action suddenly turns into a music video, and then you're back out again, which I, th I think is genius. I think it's uh, very innovative. And then once they got done with the show, uh, we went in backstage and then staged a weird little fight scene between Olive and Lisa. And then that leads to um, Lake Cambrian having to cancel their gig uh, on WFMU. So we end up at WFMU where DJ Dark says, I need somebody to fill in for Lake Cambrian because somebody just ripped her scalp off, which was me. So we get to see DJ Dark um, preparing for a show. Lake Cambrian just canceled on us. Apparently some psychotic woman attacked their keyboard artist last night. DJ Dark just really enjoys yelling at Cody, and Cody really enjoys being a people pleaser. So they really sort of have this very interesting energy um, and style in terms of attacking a problem. How much of a diva was Carol on her when she was playing? <laughs> like, like, how difficult was she as a host? She was a proper diva. I have to say I'm so impressed by her diva qualities in that because I, I, I aspire to that level, level of diva. I wish I could hold myself. No, she's great. And she's our producer and she's our assistant director and I was hoping that she could act and when, then when I saw that she could I was so relieved. <laughs> you know, I could, I could definitely see some romantic vibes coming, you know, coming out in between a DJ Dark and, and Cody. We need uh, anybody. Can I help you? Another funny moment when we all just kind of peed our pants with that inhuman banshee scream. So it's literally just him just like screaming into a mic with the gain turned all the way down to like one. <laughs> Some more real things that happen in the episodes. Uh, episode six. Navy Sunshine! Well, that actually did happen to me. I was just moving into my dorm in Boston with my roommate, Amy, who really would do anything for money. But uh, we were walking down the street, and, uh, and out of the shadows of the alleyway came this very well dressed professor type man, you know, very, like very nice, sweet looking face, Argyle sweater, probably a grandfather. And he basically said, <laughs> Ladies, ladies. And I'm like, oh my god, what? And she's like, what? Can I please, please, can I give you $50? Can I each give you each $50 to smell your feet? And I was like, like just stopped in my tracks because nobody had ever asked me that before. And I was like, no. And she was like, wait a minute, don't say no yet. Wait, let's just, let's just talk. Let's hear him out. <laughs> and I had to grab her arm and be like, we're going home. We're not gonna have our get paid fifty dollars, maybe a hundred, not fifty. Hi, All right, we're really late, Carrie, and, and you're about, about to watch maybe Sunshine. Wait, sorry. Okay. I thought you said be watching. You're about to watch. And that's the buffer. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. I love it. I lost out on fifty dollars, but I kept my dignity. Yeah.